12 Responds is getting answers to your many questions about the bridge closure and what happens next. Target 12 consumer investigator Sarah Ganelli has been combing through those questions and has answers to some of what you've asked us. Sarah? Well, Ted, Kim, I have been going through emails and in social media all day, and this is a common question that I have received. Are they going to reopen schools tomorrow in East Providence? Well, the superintendent of East Providence Schools says they will be open tomorrow until the 22nd, right before winter break, but noted that the situation is fluid and it will be watched very closely. So for tomorrow and for Friday, here's a look at what the school schedules will look like. The high school, middle school, and elementary schools will have drop off times at 15 minutes early. There will also be early dismissal for those schools and you can see those times right there on your screen. The Rhode Island Education Commissioner and Alka Infante Green says this all comes down to bus routes being impacted. What we have seen is out of our 300 statewide routes, 62 have been impacted. Of those 62, about 23 of them have experienced more of the severe delay. And so we know bus drivers will be working additional hours, so the state education commissioner says those drivers will be compensated. In the studio, Sarah Grinelli, 12 News. Well, Ted, Kim, I have been combing through dozens of questions on email and on social media, and this person asks, can someone provide a number of how many millions have been spent for repairs for the relatively short bridge? And so here's what we know. The Washington Bridge has been under construction for years. The latest contract was awarded to two companies. Alberta and Annetta in 2021. At last check, the bridge was supposed to be finished by August 2026 at a cost of $78 million. And the latest documents we have show that $30 million of that money have been spent on the bridge to date. And if you would like to send in a question to us, email us at 12 response at WPRI.com. Sarah Grudelli, 12 News. This question we have received from a few people asking, why isn't the governor asking for Alvidi's resignation? That person is referring to RIDOC director Peter Alvidi, which the governor addressed in this press conference this afternoon when one reporter asked that question. Take a listen. There's an inappropriate question, and I'm not going to even uh, even entertain an answer on that. Uh, I have already indicated that I have full faith in the team that's sitting here and standing here with me. Then the governor continued to say that includes the leadership with DOT, but would not comment on any further. If you have any questions that you would like answered, email us at 12responds at WPRI.com. Sarah Grinelli, 12 News.